Now there are two great ways to help support Jono Cigars. Smokeagoodoneshop.com and on Patreon. So click those links in the description below and help support this great cigar channel. And good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Joe with Jono Cigars back for another review here in midway through September. Very happy to have you join me. And I'm really happy to get into this cigar because this is one that looks and uh, smells amazing. And I've never had it before, but has a lot of accolades going into this. This comes from Casdagli Cigars, and it is the Daughters of the Wind in the Sabino Vitola. This is a very, very beautiful looking cigar. Great looking Perfecto. 6.2 by, I believe, 60. At its most wide point, I think it goes down to as little as 58 at certain points, not counting the tapers. You look at this cigar, the, the wrapper leaf is just this gorgeous, leathery, dark caramel color, and it is almost flawless. The seams are extremely tight. There are very few veins. Absolutely wonderful construction. I love the band work on this one. It is very elegant. Lots of detail in there. It's got the Casdagli uh, logo on the back, and then this beautiful horse-themed, equine-themed Daughters of the Wind insignia on the front of the band. I love the color scheme of it. It's just beautiful. And an all-around, very, very nicely put together, perfecto shape. pre let aromas. Oh, we got a rich butterscotch and honey sort of flavor coming off of this pre let aroma off of the body. Almost like a butterscotch or caramel syrup. Nice dried fruit off of the foot, which is a very small foot, obviously, but still lots of rich dried fruit. I think dried figs, dried dates, dried ra uh, raisins, those sort of things, just wonderful, rich dried fruit notes. And there's also some leather nuances coming off the body as well. Very interesting blend with this one. We got long fillers from the Dominican and Peru. So Peruvian and Dominican long fillers, a Costa Rican binder. And then the wrapper leaf is a beautiful, absolutely pristine looking Ecuadorian Habano wrapper leaf. I can't wait. Let's go ahead and get this one cut, toasted, see what we can find out. So off of this first puff, the draw is expectedly a little bit on the snug side. I am expecting this to kind of open up as we get further in past that tapered nub little foot there. Flavors though, they're pretty clean. We're getting a really nice coffee with cream, light caramel, leather, and something that reminds me of fresh baked buttermilk biscuits with honey. Really, really interesting. Extremely smooth. Very few little bits of, very, very little spice, if at all. But there is a buttery smoothness that comes over on the finish that just coats the palate. Kind of holding true with that whole buttermilk biscuits with honey sort of thing I was getting earlier. Medium bodied, extremely smooth incredibly clean feeling and tasting flavors and textures just great all right very very nice and elegant start let this go until i get a little further into the first third i'll see you then all right about 15 minutes in we're getting pretty fur into the first third pretty decent burn line nice white ash draw has opened up nicely smoke output following suit much more generous. Still getting to medium to medium full. Has increased a little bit in the body department, but not so much. I wouldn't call this a, a full body stick by any means. This is medium to maybe medium full at this point. It could build. Flavors are outstanding. Still incredibly smooth. I'm getting a rich maple syrupy sort of uh, sweetness coming through. Getting notes of cinnamon and nutmeg. Some roasted mixed nuts, which is just delightful. Kind of salty, kind of sweet, but all around nutty. Um, there is some nice caramel sweetness, and there is some leather coming through, and it's all just blending beautifully. It is just a great blend of flavors. And now on the retrohale. Look at 
There is some baking spices coming through on the retro hail. Still very smooth, getting all spice, nutmeg, and cinnamon. There is some cedar and more of those wonderful, somewhat sweet roasted nut aromas coming through on the retro hail too. All in all, just fantastic. Really enjoying this a lot. It is incredibly smooth. Uh, and I'm still getting some butteriness, some creaminess coming through, and notes of coffee with cream as well, particularly on the finish, and uh, especially after you do a retrohale and then follow it up with a draw. Lots of things start coming through after that. All right, let this go until I get a little further in, probably about halfway through the cigar. I'll see you then. All right, about 45 minutes in, not quite halfway through the cigar, but I'm gonna go ahead and start picking it up here because I feel like this cigar is starting to reach climax. Flavors are really good. I'm starting to get a lot of roasted cashew, sort of a candied almond and pecan. Very, very unique and distinctive flavors as opposed to what I was getting before, which was just kind of a general roasted nut that was really savory and kind of vague in its nuttiness but it was just it was just nutty tasting now i'm actually able to pick out some of these specific nut flavors and i always appreciate it when i can get specificity in a review the smoke output has really really just taken off the draw is absolutely perfect now and the body has now reached definite medium full and it's even kind of going a little north of medium full starting to flirt with possibly getting into that full bodied range. Very interesting dynamic there. I'm getting some interesting blueberry pie sort of notes. And I'm definitely getting some sweet blueberry fruit notes, but there are also this wonderful buttery pie crust sort of flavors coming off of the draw. There is some baking spice that is lingering in on the palate on the finish and on the retro hill. More baking spice, more cashew, more roasted almond and candy pecan. And there's little bits of white pepper, but it is kind of subtle and it's not super pronounced. The baking spice, thinking nutmeg and allspice in particular, are the ones that are really kind of dominating the spice realm on the retro hill. Everything about this cigar is extremely smooth, incredibly balanced, and the feel of the cigar right here, the balance of the cigar right here at the midway point is just really, really pleasing to hold in your hand. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of bigger rein gauge cigars, but every now and then you get one where it just works with the smoking experience, and this is a prime example of that. Uh, the draw, the construction, the burn on, all of this is anything but problematic. It's about as perfect as you would want for any cigar, and that's a hard thing to pull off when you get to those bigger rein gauges because there's more room for error to occur, more opportunities for things to go wrong. You have to be a really good roller to make sure you roll these things properly so that it still burns right. And as you can see, this burn line is just about razor sharp. I have not had to touch it up. I've only ashed it once and it was by mistake. I actually knocked it against my palm branch over here. Kind of annoying. So if it had happened, I probably would have still had an ash going on at this point. So very impressive, liking the cigar a lot and uh, I'm getting surprised by things that are happening. So, always appreciate it. All right, let this go until I get towards the end of the cigar. I'll see you then. Well, man. So you ever have those cigars where you look at the price tag and you think, boy, this thing better be good. I'm gonna buy one, but it, this better be good. And then you try it. And then you realize, yeah, this is, this is money well worth spent. This is one of these. So this cigar has a price point retail above $20. And there's only a, really a handful of cigars out there that I, after smoking it, would spend it again for several more, if not a box, if I was wealthy. <laughs> I'm not wealthy, so I clearly can't buy a box. But if I ever find these ever again, you know I'm gonna pick them up because they are just so dynamite. 
I only picked up one when I got this because it was $24 at my local brick and mortar. But I had assurances by the tobacconist there at the, at the time that I bought it that, oh yeah, this is worth it. This is one of those cigars that you just don't forget about. He was right. This is something that's going to be emblazoned in my memory for years to come. So, Kaz Dagley, Daughters of the Wind. I'm, I'm not really sure how I'm going to describe the flavors on this one. I'll do my best. But these are kind of... These are kind of sublime flavors. I'll try to break it down as much as I can, but they're, just be aware that the overall combination of everything that's going on, it's something new. It really is something new. So, I'll talk a little bit about the construction. It's been perfect. Ash has been just fantastic. It's beautiful to look at. The wrap relief is damn near flawless. The burn has been fantastic. The draw and smoke output is everything I ever want out of a cigar. The flavors, I'm getting stuff like creme brulee, vanilla wafers, candied toasted pecan, pie crust, blueberry pie, fresh buttermilk biscuits, honey, caramel syrup, baking spices, lots of amazing cedar, and this wonderful sweet almond that's coming through now too. Everything is just clicking, clicking. Whoever blended this knew what the hell they were doing. Whoever rolled this knew what the hell they were doing. Whoever created the band work was an artist. Everything about this is worthy of that 20 plus dollar range price point. This is just a great cigar. Everything about it is perfect. Um, you know, it started out medium started creeping up to medium to medium full. It is now a medium full and has just been staying that way ever since about the midway point of the cigar. And the flavors have just been top notch ever since the beginning. It started to tease you when you first lit up. The flavors were kind of showing you, oh yeah, I've got some great stuff. Just keep going. I know the draw is not perfect right now because of this perfecto shape, but just keep going. <sighs> this is a great cigar. Could this be the best of the year? Mm. Man, it's up there. Definitely in the top five so far. Wow. Ah. And here's the problem. I want more because in December, I do a Christmas giveaway for my VIPs. And uh, I tell them that I'm going to have one of each on my top ten. Boy, I'm going to have to start looking around for this because... Ah, man. This is definitely going to be in the top ten. I'm going to call it right now. There's no way I'm going to have nine better cigars than this one before the end of the, end of the year. It's just great. There's fruit, there's wood, there's nuts, there's baking spice. There's little bits of milk chocolate coming in now too. I was getting that earlier, I didn't mention that, but there is a nice, rich, creamy milk chocolate. Smoke texture is fantastic. Everything about this cigar is just unreal. This is a box-worthy stick, and I don't care if you have to spend $300, $400 to get a box. This is worth it. This is just a cigar that is worth it. If you want a special occasion cigar, this is it. This is it, guys. 2021, this is the cigar you want to get. If you can't find it, look around for it. I'm going to be doing that. If you have one that you're willing to sell to me, if you have more than one that you're willing to sell to me, let me know. I will buy them from you. Fantastic. I know I'm getting a little bit gushy and sentimental sounding, but... Every now and then you get a cigar like this that really, really blows you away. Oh, fantastic. Alright, that's it. That's all I got for this review. I'm still kind of spellbound. And I still got about 15 minutes left on the cigar, so I'm going to sit down and enjoy it. I know it's a little selfish, but I got to. I got it. Sometimes you got it. Thank you so much for joining me for this review. As always, don't forget to subscribe. Click the icon bottom right corner. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can get notifications every time I release a new video. As always, check me out on Instagram. At Jonas Cigars is my handle. You get all the written reviews that I post there on Instagram. And if you want to help support Jonas Cigars, head on over to smokeagoodoneshop.com to buy some Jonas merchandise. 
really cool Jono Cigars t-shirt that I designed is up there. And if you want to join the Sago family, head on over to Patreon. Sign up on any of the tier levels. Even the most basic tier level will get you subscribed to the monthly newsletter, Smoke a Good One. And uh, if you sign up on the VIP level, you automatically get entered into the Christmas giveaway, which will be happening in December, towards the end of the year, where I will give away one of each of my top 10 cigars for that year, for this year. And I'm gonna do my damnedest to get some more so that I can include this one in that list. It's gonna be in the top 10, for sure. Don't worry. And I'm gonna do my best to get some more of these. Thank you again. Hope you continue to have a great September. See you on the next one. Until then, smoke a good one. Thank you so much for watching Jonah Cigars. Click here on this head to subscribe. Click here to watch more.